hello there good day welcome to the channel and today's topic is r value reference and move constructor in c++ before going into r value reference let us just recap what are reference so if i have int i equal to 10 i can create a reference variable called j equal to i here j just is just a alias of i that's all and it doesn't have a storage of itself if you print the address both j and i address would be same so that were references so what is r value reference before understanding the region of r value reference we need to understand the limitation of c plus plus references i can create this reference to a variable but i cannot create a reference to a temporary for example 20 this line of code is not allowed in C++. It will give an error. So, so in C++ you could not create a reference to a temporary. There was one exception though. We could have created const in %j equal to 20 and this will run fine. And this was allowed. Now with R value reference first is the syntax. Any R value reference is represented at double ampersand. And with R value reference, I can refer to a temporary. So this line is perfectly valid in C11. Not only this, I can even increment the J and I can print the J also. So let's see the value. We can see the value 21 is printed because we have incremented the J. So this is what our value reference does. Not only this, we can also create overloaded function with our value reference. For example, let me create a function which takes an int reference. Let me print as normal over here. And let me create an overloaded function called void fn which takes a r value reference. And I'll just print here as rval ref. And if I call the function as f, fn with i and call the function with a temporary, with i, normal uh, reference function will get called. With this temporary, r value function will get called. So normal function get, gets called and our value reference function gets called. So that's the way compiler automatically differentiate while calling it that which particular overload load to call. Now this is good but what is the usage of it? Why the hell C++ decided to come up with something like our value reference? To understand it we have to uh, create a class with a copy constructor. Let me create a struct rather. Uh, I'm not I'm not writing class because I don't want to just write public anyway. So in the struct, let's say I have a pointer int star ptr. Let me get rid of this error code. And in the constructor, I am um, creating a new instance of the ptr. And in the destructor, I am deleting ptr. All good. Now let me create a copy constructor. I have created a copy constructor as this and in the copy constructor in this kind of situation we do deep copy. So what we will do this ptr equal to new int and I generally copy the value ptr equal to ampersand uh, star a1 dot ptr since we are not having any values we can get, skip this code so this is what we do to do ownership transfer now let me create a vector vector of type a v1 if i say v1 dot pushback and if i create a temporary of a something like this what will be the output let's go ahead and run it Need to put semicolon. So if I run it, okay, I just need to put uh, some prints over here to get it printed. Let me put uh, constructor 
and copy constructor uh, let me also print destructor so let me go ahead and run so you can see what happened that when i say a temporary i have created constructor get called since i am pushing back, in, back into the vac vector copy constructor gets called and then the destructor gets called for this particular a and once this gets out of the memory uh, this uh, object which is constructed out of copy constructor this gets called so uh, all good but you see that this kind of pushback can be done hundreds and thousands of time in the program and every time a copy constructor makes a new copy of the pointer which is already allocated as part of temporary so basically we do two allocation once when this temporary is created and another time when the copy assignment is, is done over here this is a serious performance overhead and that's the, to address this limitation a move constructor constructor is created so uh, the syntax of move constructor is using r value reference and what we do we just do the ownership transfer over here ptr equal to a1 dot ptr and we change the a1 ptr as equal to null so that it doesn't get deleted now if i run the code now let's see what will happen uh, let, let me have a print over here I'll say it as move constructor and you can see that move constructor gets called okay. so basically with move construction what we did is that we avoided one copy one extra copy that needed to be done and if you consider the hundreds and thousands of function call this is a significant saving why we needed move constructor because the copy constructor is const even if we do a shallow copy we cannot change a1 to null and when it comes here it will actually destruct the code that's why move constructor is there now let's uh, let's have a new class uh, a as a1 and i say push back a1 what will happen in this case well if you guessed it right congrats it will call copy constructor because this is not a temporary this is a1 it's a copy it's not a temporary that's why a copy constructor gets called so will we not able to use the move benefit of move in this kind of situations we can we just have to call move like this this explicitly move explicit move makes sure that we call move constructor even when we are trying to access something which is already existed and it's one of the better idea to use no except with move because the many containers have the algorithms which checks if the move constructor is no expect then and only then it will get move constructor of that particular call class will get called so that's all about r value reference and move constructor and why and how it is being used so thanks a lot thanks for watching